Exercise 2. You will hear a student talking to his class about his project on guide dogs. Listen to the talk and complete the details below. Write one or two words only in each gap. You will hear the talk twice. For my project on working animals, I decided to study guide dogs. These are dogs which are trained to lead people who have sight loss or who are visually impaired. After they're born, young dogs stay with their mother until they're about eight weeks old. During the first few weeks of their lives, they sleep most of the time, but their physical development is really fast. For example, their weight doubles in the first week. After about four weeks, their senses start working and they play with each other a lot. This is how their social development starts. So being with other young dogs is really important during this time. The young dogs can leave their mother and start their basic training when they're about eight or nine weeks old. Each dog goes to live with a puppy walker. That's the term used for a person who looks after a young dog that will hopefully become a guide dog when it's older. My aunt is one of these volunteers. She says it's a bit like being a temporary parent, and because she used to be a teacher, she finds it easy to handle them. When they first arrive at her house, they're really curious about their surroundings. It's a good time to let them go outside for short amounts of time and also to get them used to car journeys, but certainly not long ones. After trying out anything new like this, which can be stressful, they need to return to an area that they're familiar with as quickly as possible. During this period, their behaviour can get out of control if you don't start to teach them various commands and let them know what they can and can't do. And it's much harder to train them when they're older. When they're about three months old, the young dogs start to explore much more. At this time, everything's an adventure. Whatever gets their attention will only last for a brief moment, because anything and everything can be a distraction. The dog's appearance also changes. Their fur might become paler or darker, and they start to lose their sharp teeth, and larger adult ones grow in their place. Young dogs tend to chew a lot, which can cause problems if they find something like a shoe lying around. Cardboard is a great alternative, but I found out you should avoid giving them bones to chew on until they're much older, as these can damage their mouths. When the young dog's about one year old, it starts official guide dog training. It learns a variety of routes and how to cross roads safely. It also has to develop excellent manners because it has to travel on buses and go into shops and other public places. When it can do all of this successfully, it's matched with its future owner. To do this, several points are considered, including the person's lifestyle, how fast they walk, and how tall they are. The dog continues training with this person for another few weeks before it officially starts working as a guide dog. Has anyone got any questions? <laughs>